When nothing in life matters, when really important things can pass through you so imperceptibly, I never thought that the most interesting thing in my life could begin with a fall. Deep fall. Falling is not difficult. One step and you're flying. Whether you rise or fall is the whim of that most capricious lady, Lady Luck. I thought maybe we became friends after the accident. Or perhaps I was just lying to myself. Tessa's death unsettled me. I didn't know what to do and where to go. We were inseparable friends from back in school. One stormy night, one missing road sign, one chasm, and the result? Two victims, me and Tess. After her because I didn't know another way. This place called me. Here, my life was changed into chaos. I was volatile and needed to explode. I had to do it. Here. Speeding through the red lights, through the warning sirens wail on the fence that was set up after Tess's death. It was impossible to stop me. The people who were chasing after me wanted to help me, but their wish to save was weaker than my wish to die. And I won. And now, I am here, in the world of dead. I am writing this down in case I don't make it out of here. I want to leave something about myself and perhaps to help someone else that may follow and will read it. The knowledge which I'll put in this journal is superficial, but is forbidden, and you can be punished for it by supreme measure here.
My appearance here is a mystery for me. I came here in a way unlike anybody else. Usually, people sail here on boats. There are dead who died on the earth and reborn in their guise here. Everything is absolutely identical. Sex, age, and other characteristics. But one of the few differences from earthly life is the laws by which a body lives. body is inseparably linked with the soul. We don't feel this connection on the earth, but here it is felt immediately, much the same way as our nervous system activates when we feel pain, and it hurts because our souls are not clean. All of the newcomer dead are disfigured by corruption. Their bodies are corrupted as strongly as their souls are sick.
Upon arriving, the bodies undergo a cleansing process, and after 40 days, the body wakes up. Initially, it does not feel anything, but as soon as the corruption is washed away with the healing liquid, in a few seconds, it becomes a mirror of the inner world. Many people die in these seconds. If they don't, then it is determined if in their condition they could withstand surgery or not. If they couldn't, the still living body is thrown down into a bottomless hole. And if they could, the body is operated on and the people are led to where they can save themselves. Just recently, a man left the earthly world. He woke up, and he is enveloped by mysterious pain. Unfamiliar figures are bent over his head. They washed him, roughly stitched his wounds, and brought him to the library. Instead of rest and sleeping, they put him at the table in front of a book, where the first words were, Your mind is a flask of poison. To leave or to cleanse, it is your decision. And it was so. Corruption is like a weak-acting poison. It causes tension that doesn't let the body breathe. On the earth, we are used to the fact that wounds gradually mend and the pain can subside. Here, there is no such process under the corruption's influence. The only wounds which can be healed are the ones that people have received here.
prayers of our religions don't work here. There's no medicinal cure, but the true understanding of their mistakes. It depends on the person, how much he wants to admit that he was wrong and get rid of suffering. Many people have died here halfway to recovery, but the majority goes mad, and only a few people went, being healthy, into the portal of life.
This world is like a trap. There's only one way out, and it is not death. Dying here, the soul becomes a prisoner of this place forever and can never rise again. Millions of ghosts hide in the darkness. Artificial light blinds them, and they fall to the floor. They cling onto it, but cannot touch. Souls are not created for the darkness, but the light would not take them. They are doomed to languish here till the end of time.
All of this started with the arrival of the body of a certain woman in the mortuary. In this time, angels, comforters, worked over the treatment of people. That is how it was in the old days. It's almost forgotten. And the only reminder of this time is the statues. The spirits of the angels fell every day. Every time, people came worse and worse. And when that woman arrived, the tired angels lost their trust in the people and left the mortuary. The woman's body didn't awaken, even after the cleansing bath. It fell apart and then turned into a rotten mass with broken black bones. This woman isn't well known. She represented all the worst things that people can be. Greed, vanity, cruelty, adultery, sacrilege. This list is not enough to wake the dead. To wake the dead, it's necessary to kill thousands of innocent people with your own hands. And among these thousands, there also have to be children. Other ghosts avoid her. She keeps them away, and there is no crueler ghost among them than she is. Unfortunately, I had a chance to meet her. Ghosts are dangerous like her, but it is better not to anger them. They become angered easily and are quick to fight back. Their lives are full of grief and hunger for light. But among them, there are harmless and even good ghosts. Good ghosts are strong souls. They say that they will be taken to heaven.
world of the dead did not come to be like this quickly, but has been like this for many thousands of years. And it has never been worse than it is now. Orderliness disappeared when the angels left. After them, the mortuarium was watched by their followers, but they also couldn't stay long. They gave up when a worldwide flood struck the Earth. Earthly events have created this chaos. For some time, no one had met the boat. They smashed against the rocks or were eaten by inhabitants of the hole, who hunt on the road here due to hunger. After a short time, unknown men, who called themselves the Immortal, arrived in this world. They enslaved the survivors, and the mortuary became a colony. They continued the work of the angels' comforters, but quite the contrary. Strong people were, through torture and humiliation, turned into weak people, and the damaged soul was sent to Earth. For this purpose, prisons were built by the hands of the enslaved. Each of them could be called Hell. My car's explosion was heard in the prisons. The immortals perceived it as a threat of possible escape from these hells, and they began the liquidation of the strongest and most dangerous prisoners. Some were lucky enough to die quickly, but some were not so fortunate. lucky to escape this fate, but how long do I have to stay here? I will be executed unless I can escape from here. There is nothing worse than sitting here day after day, waiting for death. I had better find her if I'm going to change anything. <laughs> 